Hey Karotzi and welcome back. So in last week's video we created this phone charm. Now go check it out above if you haven't seen that video as yet. Let's see what we're going to create in today's video. Ooh, I did a slow for on purpose. Ooh. Which one is this? Which one is which one do you see? Okay. So it's a bracelet. Okay. With words. Okay. It's a bracelet with words. Okay. I'm kind of thinking still string maybe. So let me see if the scraps is, is long enough. Yeah, okay. So this is long enough. So I'm gonna use the scrap from the previous project. So it's a bracelet with words. So let's choose. So I'm gonna put this here. Take my little tweezer. This is the wrong one. Here's my tweezer. Okay. So Okay, so the word, mm, crafty, craftsy, oh, let's do craftsy, I'm wondering if we have enough of these, it's fine, so, C, I want to use, so I'm just going to use this. And I want to use like a silver bead. Oh, but you know what? These beads are too big for these little beads. So what I'll do is I will use a silver one in the front and then another silver one. Kind of thing. But now we obviously need beads because we need to fill up this whole space. I don't just want to just do a plain just fit like yeah so i was thinking some of these little beads i don't know it's like a it's giving it's giving okay so i'm gonna use some of these beads so i'm wondering should i just make it silver yeah i think let's do that's fine so i'll use some crimp beads so I have the crimp beads here, crimp beads, crimp bead covers, two more crimp beads. Okay, so now we're going to start the bracelet. So what is going to happen now is we're going to start off the bracelet. So starting off the bracelet, it's quite, not difficult, but it is something that takes a bit of time. So we're going to take the end and going to make it as slim as possible. And we're going to start off with a crimp bead cover. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to make a little knot at the end. Okay, so we're going to do a little... bead right and we're gonna crimp the crimp bead cover kind of want to do it over that little thing that's cool and awesome okay cool so I made like a little knot and then I put the crimp bead over that okay so then I'm going to just snap the end off And now we're going to close it off. Okay. Cool. So now that is the beginning of this one. 
and obviously we'll need to use a lot of these beads so I'm just gonna kind of just what I like doing because it curls up so much and it irritates me I kind of just put like a little clasp at the end to just keep it straight so it makes it e easier to bead it look it's it's something fun it's something that I'm gonna love doing and then as you go when you make your own bracelet <clears throat> it's always a good idea to keep on measuring it so once you are actually busy with it and and starting to do it you kind of just have to keep on measuring so that you know it's still gonna fit okay now we're gonna start spanning the words so what I like to do is just spell it according to how it is here so C R Ooh, it's coming together, coming together. Now it's funny because now you're going to see like real time, like how long it takes me to do something and beading or like beaded work takes time. It takes time. It takes time. And it's fun because, you know, you kind of get to like use your creativity and whatever. And this is like creativity on the spot. So this is not like planned or... You know, I have everything next to me, but it's not really like, oh, okay, this is what I'm going to do, blah, blah, blah. This is, it's more of, oh, okay, cool. Well, we'll see what we're going to be able to make. So now I'm just going to do 12 more. We have to keep on measuring. So it's kind of like these vibes. It's probably going to be big for me, but it's okay. I guess I'm going to do 12 on this side as well and 12 okay so now we're going to finish it off okay so starting the bracelet and finishing it off is is quite different but this is what it currently looks like so now i want to do the crimp bead again oh man it's always difficult ending off a bracelet like it's always easy to start a bracelet but it's never easy finishing it off like it's literally not that easy okay so now i'm gonna cut it down to size and then we're going to close it off just want to make sure this crimp bead is really crimped in there as i and then just king this okay so the crimp bead closed there we go okay so now i'm just putting it up okay this is like the easiest way for me personally to open a crimp bead i actually need to do a review on this let me know in the comments below do you want me to do a review on the actual jump ring opener It'll be interesting to see because I kind of just really like the, um, this thing. So now we need to add the clasp as well as the bracelet and then we just close it on. Oh wow, look at this. Oh wow, this is a crafty bracelet. This is so cute, I actually love it. I actually love it.